Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you Monk Monday number 119, I believe. And for those who don't know what that is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. And I critique it, I review it, I go over it. One of the best ways to learn is to watch your gameplay. If you're too shy or don't want to, you know, submit any gameplay, that's fine. I would still recommend you know, recording your gameplay and watching it back. It's one of the best ways to learn. Uh, any MMR, 2s, 3s, RGs, Mythic Plus rating, doesn't matter. Miss Weaver, One Walker gameplay, just send it in. Uh, today, we have Orbits, I believe, saying, first of all, I want to thank you so much for helping us and supporting the Miss Weavers in general. I love the play style, too. It's the most fun healer, in my opinion. Of course, it's literally the most fun healer in the game. Um, here are two solo shovels. When I watch it back, I, I couldn't... I uh, When I watch it back, I could figure out some mistakes, but in general, I don't know what I could do different. Uh, feels like my mates are dead the whole game. It's so hard in most situations that I kind of overheal. I get what you mean. I'm looking forward to learning something so I can improve and maybe get 2.4, 100%. Much love for you and keep it up. Miss Weaver forever. Absolutely. Yes, let's get into it. Talent build. Uh, the one thing I'm noticing about talent build is that uh, we aren't playing Tier of Morning down here. And I think that's kind of one slight mistake is I, a Tier of Morning is a lot of healing. Tier of Morning is a lot, a lot of healing. Gives your hots a chance to spread or your renewing mist. And then it also heals with whenever you press enveloping mist. So I would say I, I'm trying to think like what you can change to make it. I mean, we're playing two resplendent mist. I don't know what your stats are. Maybe you're playing if you're playing haste verse, maybe worth it to drop resplendent mist and go one and two jade bond here and one into tier of morning. But besides that, everything else seems fine. I think just resplendent mist is the only one. Two, four, six. Oh, wait, we have two points. Some wait, get rid of this. Get rid of this talent right here. Yulon's Whisper, get rid of this. Get Drop this point right here. It does negative healing. It's like, especially in dampening, this this does no. If you look at your healing breakdown, it does no healing. So get rid of this, drop this, and put it into Tier of Mourning 100%. Uh, Tier of Mourning is much better than Yulon's Whisper. We're playing Zen Focus T, Eminence Revival. That's fine. I would potentially... Yeah. It's Ellie Shaman, though. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I think Revival's fine. Revival's fine. Um, we are casted healing, though, uh, which is fine as well. Love the transmog as well. Yeah, transmog's looking pretty good. K a kill target is probably the Ellie Shaman slash Disc Priest. Doesn't matter which one it is as long as, you know, whoever you can have the highest uptime on uh, for your team, I would do it. Um, but, yeah, no, let's, let's see how this goes. Rep Hallies, you know, Rep Hallies do tend to one-shot people. Let's see what we got. Nice, good, good. Statue down, port, port up. Nice job cutting away from your port. Really, really good here. Uh, blinding on, blinding light on you. And the, did that? Do we trinket that or what? What do we break it? They broke it, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. He breaks it with the flame shock. Um, we get a fear on the priest. We're looking for a stun on the rep pally. Beautiful setup here. Now, get some follow up here. You know, the priest is a little out of position, just in the middle of the map. I, you don't have to go for a song, but I would say go for an in cap off the fear on the priest because your team is in trouble right now. You're actually chilling like the Ellie Shaman's still trying to ramp up. So before you go behind the pillar, I would go for an in cap on the priest uh, off the fear because I think that that would be, you know, good, good pressure in the opener. Uh, the red pally is already at like 60% health. That's paint up though. So good. That's paint up. Here comes wings. We revival instantly. Hold, give it, give it a second. To revival so recently in the newest patch revival healing was increased by a hundred percent so you know don't you don't have to use revival instantly because it actually does healing you could wait until your teammates are at like 30 to 40 percent i mean you know don't want to risk it the ellie shaman does have an ascendance proc of course but you don't need to press it instantly uh on the wings because like what are we all at 90 percent maybe 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 85 you could you could hold it you could you could give it a second because you're doing a lot a lot of overhealing like a lot of overhealing here and it, you don't have to do it um oh wait we didn't press revival never mind then we didn't press revival my bad uh forget what i just well don't forget it but yeah uh here comes stormkeeper hodge on you so this is why i would play restoral instead of revival just because if you get hodged you can easily just restore here but it seems like we're doing okay that's a bubble from the rep alley as well and dome from the priest so i think right now we're very far ahead we're very very far ahead we have revival still zen focus d is beautiful Great job. Maybe dispel a flame shock. They run out of dome, so the disc priest is probably really mad. And yeah, we're just healing right now. That's all we're doing. We're just healing. Good job. Good work. Still have revival. 
We have Healing Elixirs for ourselves. We have Yulon going for a Song of chi off the Incap. Beautiful. Um, trinket from the Shaman there because he's too impatient for the Dispel. Uh, we're doing a really good job. Rapture as well. I think this is the Priest's last cooldown. I, I think we actually can get a kill here. We Trinket the Fear. Maybe Incap on the Priest. No, we don't have Incap. I mean, what can I say about that? That was a really good... That was a good first round. That was a good first round. I got no complaints about that one. Uh, held your revival even during wings and ascendance, which was solid. Um, yeah, I got, I got, I got, I, I don't have too many complaints about that. Uh, we're playing against Ellie Demon Hunter now. Uh, you, you could have gotten an in cap off the fear. Always try to extend though. You could have even gotten a leg sweep off if you wanted to. Um, you know, so just try to extend the CC chain so the DPS or the healers fall behind uh, is really good. So Ellie Shaman, Demon Hunter, Priest. I mean, it's, it's you're playing right. Well, you're playing the best comp in the game right now. So Ellie Shaman, Disc Priest. Swap between whichever one you want. I even honestly, even the Demon Hunter can die. So just have your DPS pick a target and run it down. Uh, looks like they want to push in. So you might have to push in. Hopefully you don't have to. Um, that's a hunt instantly from the Demon Hunter. We don't mind that. Uh, we go for a big heal there. That's revival. That's good. That was a good revival. Zen Focus T as well. Rop the dome is beautiful. Make sure you get renewing mist out. Yes, good, good. Also, uh, if you're playing manatee, probably want to press it around this time. Wait, what? Okay, your rep pally bubbled. Your rep, your rep pally bubbled. So just, I don't know if you noticed it. I just noticed it, but keep that in mind. Your rep pally bubble <laughs> bubbled. So this is also a good time to manatee because it seems like both your teammates are dying and the. Which we call it. the demon hunter has meta up, so they're gonna take a lot. Your team is gonna be taking a lot of damage, so just try to weave in manatee when you can. You could use it while channeling soothing mist. Uh, that's a fear on you, hex on you. This is a tree and cocoon. Yep, it's your red pally bubbled. I don't know why. I don't know why red pally bubbled. Okay, I he bubbled for damage. I maybe he got a little scared here. I mean, I don't know, but. That this round isn't your fault, I don't think. I mean, we had Trinket Life Cocoon, and maybe we didn't notice that he already bubbled. Which why would he even bubble? Don't know why. But this, yeah, this is a Trinket Life Cocoon here. Unfortunately, it sucks. <laughs> it it sucks. That's that's the that's how it goes sometimes. So, um, oh, he's a Fury Warrior. Interesting. All right, so we have Fury Warrior, Ellie Shaman, Disc Priest. Now the thing about Disc Priest, and I know that they got some mana buffs recently. You can out dampen them for the most part, though, as long as your team is doing damage to something, and like not giving the priest much time to recover or do damage. Uh, I think you can mostly out out dampen a Disc Priest. So just tell your teammates just focus on living, living, le uh, living, and stay alive. Please stay alive. Um, Again, kills targets, probably Ellie Shaman. Disc Priest can potentially die too, Rapture, Rapture, and Pain Suppression. So, you know, uh, your team is a little scared to go out there. Oh, oh, what's... Okay, he's very scared. He's going for a hunt, I think. Stun on you. I probably want to stay stacked versus a Warrior, but... Okay, Warrior wants to hit you and kicks you. You can target just yourself if you have to. If you're slow, there's a fear on you. Uh, we take a lot... Okay. All right. Let's 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 play. Let's play this back a bit. Let's play this back a bit. First of all, uh, our team, our team needs to go in. All right. This isn't like a threes game. This is this is solo shuffle. You got to go in and do damage. So being behind the pillar here. First of all, this is bad. Uh, second, you you did it the first round, but we didn't do it this round. I think it's because the DPS kind of threw you off. But cut away from your port after you put it down. So I, you did it first round, and I'm sure you know to do it. But you know, port. Is, is on their side. That way you can just pour. He charge kicks you. And then your rep pally kind of just pops wings and dies. You could revival here too. But he dies from like 50%. 40% just dead. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, this isn't a you issue. This is more of a rep pally thing. I mean maybe if our positioning at the start was a little bit better. It could have went. I mean obviously a lot better. But I would say this is a you issue. Um, we need a pain suppression from the early shot, but yeah, the red, I don't know what the red's doing. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't know what he's doing. He's bubbling in the opener. He's dying. He's, he's, it's, he's acting a little weird. So I guarantee you, if you guys start hitting the rep, the rep pally, like at the start, um, he's just going to bubble. He's just going to bubble. Um, yeah, I don't know, but they're going to definitely going to go after your Ellie shaman. So you want to make sure that Ellie shaman stays uh, nice and safe. I, I don't know what you could have done. I mean, he was out of range of revival. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, I don't know why they stacked on you. It's kind of weird, especially two melee. 
It's even weirder. So, all right, we got a port down. Good. Statue, beautiful. Um, Demon Hunter is trying to fake the hunt. I don't know what that's about. Maybe he likes the animation. Okay, Warriors on you. Good. Good job. I would just port away. Good. You could even reset your port and if you charge. Okay, good. Don't forget to reset your port though. And you could port a second time. Okay, very, very important. Very, very, very important. With Eminence and Escape from Reality, there is an interaction that you can do where I know you didn't get stunned, but the first time you port and get stunned, it's fine. But if you don't port a second time, it's going to be a longer cooldown. So this buff right here is Escape from Reality. You need to port a second time and make sure you get the cooldown reduction. Otherwise, uh, it's the you're going to be stunned full. All right, Blinding Light on you. Rop is fine. We trinket the Blinding Light and Cocoon the Ellie Shaman. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. It's Wings and Avatar from the team, so I don't mind that. Um, just be careful because it's not going to line up with the next Wings. We also, the Shaman didn't press wall. Now's wall. Okay, good. Good. Big healing. Throwing a Velt Mist out. Nice. Good. Not getting, not getting kicked by the Warriors. Beautiful. That's two Pain Suppressions as well from the... Uh, from the Disc Priest, Renewing Mist, beautiful. Make sure you heal the, uh, the Ellie Shaman, great. Bubble from the Red Pally, classic. Yep. Um, we're very far from our port, so keep that in mind. Uh, also, as far as talents go, by the way, if I would drop Send Focus Team and play Disarm versus this, by the way. There's no range interrupts for you, and the odds of them going you are very slim. I don't think they're going to go you. I think they're going to go your Ellie Shaman. So I would drop Zen Focus T and... Eminence is good enough. Eminence, Chrysalis, or Emilus, Eminence and Peace Weaver is fine. But I would go Disarm for the Warrior or even the Red Pally. Just because you get a lot more value and you stop a lot of damage. DR Sun and you is so good. Uh, we could wrap this, but or at least kind of taking it. Beautiful. Good job getting your teammate up before wrapping. I think we're doing a good job right now. Like I know those first those other two rounds, we kind of just died in the opener. But like I think I think it's fine. Yeah, I don't mind cleaving the disc priest. Get a hot. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, sweep is fine. Just be careful. They could swap to you. You're out of range of your port. I don't think you are now, though. No, you're not. Good. Um, here comes cooldowns, though. Here comes cooldowns. Uh, your ugly shaman is LOSing you so hard. Just kill the red. Okay. It was getting a little dicey. The wings was about to come back from the red pally. So, holy cow. I'm glad you guys killed him. Uh, this game was fine. Don't outrange your port, though. Just keep, you know, try not to. And, no, you did a good job healing. Yeah, you good job keeping your Ellie Shaman alive against Strit Warrior, like one of the best comps in the game right now. So that's that's solid. That's really, really good. Um What do we got? We got Rhett Ellie versus Warrior Demon Hunter. You also want to make sure that you're changing your talents based on what you're queuing into. Because again, uh, yes, yes, good. Drops and focus T. Okay, Eminence is fine. Alright. Oh, are we playing this time? Okay, good, good. Peace Weaver. Good. Um, also, you could also drop Revival and go Restoral instead, just because there isn't anything Revival is dispelling versus this. You're not, you're not using it to dispel anything. So I would play Restoral. That way, if you get stunned, you could still immune the hunt with uh, Peace Weaver. Um, but good job. Good job. Good work. They're probably just going to go. That's the hunt already on your Rep Alley. And we get stunned, kicked. Yeah, good port. Really good port. Uh, we trinketed. Wait, we trink it? Oh, we trink it this time. But we're playing Eminence. Yeah, we, de we definitely didn't have to trink it here. Uh, just keep that in mind. We definitely did not have to trink it here at all. Um, you have Eminence. Could have just gotten out of it. I know I know it's scary getting kicked and like going to a stun, but I, I swear you, you would have been fine. You want to do make sure your second port, though. Um, you use it for the cooldown reduction. Good job healing. I would probably use a Yulon Thunder Focus T here as well, just because the Cocoon and Bubble. I would honestly, after a few rounds of this Red Pally, I would just assume he was going to bubble. Yeah, I would just assume he's going to bubble. So that was a little bit of a big overlap there with uh, Life Cocoon and Bubble. Hopefully, we just stay far away. Make sure you get some Renewing Mist out. Beautiful. Good job. We got Yulon going too. We got some mana reduction. We got some big healing coming in hot. Well done. Uh, we reset our port. Still on you. Fear on you. We have no trinkets for this. So we have no sank as well. Um, we might die here. We roll. Just be careful. Don't roll. We get kicked. Oh, damn. That is close. I would say, let me see. We come here. 
Yeah. Well, first of all, the red pally kites towards you, so that's like not good because then they can easily get the CC on you, uh, and then we get feared, which is even worse. And we don't have we. He could bop you out of this fear as well, um, but I don't know why we roll because the disc priest. Uh, yeah, this roll here we probably didn't have to do. I mean, I know we're trying to get away. I guess we gotta juke somebody. Um, but the shaman, the shaman hex, the disc priest, which is actually really good. We also land hands here too, but we get kicked from the demon hunter. Uh, yeah, I think this all came down to that trinket, uh, the trinket on the stun. Just it's fine. Don't freak out. I would one thing I would recommend one, um, play Restoro instead of peace instead of revival, uh, especially versus comps where you don't need to dispel anything. Like you're not trying to dispel uh, unstable affliction or flame shocks versus this, right? Um, so I play Restoral. That way, while you're stunned, you can still heal. And then don't freak out when you get stunned or like kicked into a stun. Just hold off the lockout and then port after, because uh, you're gonna you'll be fine. Because uh, if they use mobility to get after you, just port again and run away. So we have Red Demon Hunter. This is Thunder. So this is really good. I, I think this is a pretty solid comp. You could actually run at any of these. You could probably run at the Demon Hunter if you wanted to after Blur. But the Red Pally, <sighs> excuse me, the Red Pally seems to like to b just throw bubble out like it's not even a cooldown so i would hit the red pally and as soon as you hit him i'm sure i guarantee you uh he's going to bubble he's gonna bubble uh, so uh put your port down great get away from your port put your stature up beautiful great job good okay don't go too far don't go too far Calm. Oh. We're, we're, we're gonna get feared off this nice sweep oh so good really good sweep Rep Pally Trinkets, go for an in-cap off. I, so right here, you want to capitalize that you got CC. And I would get an in-cap on the Priest off of the off of the leg sweep. And it looks like we get some kind of fear DR. Oh, is it Blinding Light? No. What kind of fear DR? Maybe, maybe your Warrior Feared? I think your Warrior Feared. And we got uh, Blur from the Demon Hunter, uh, even though he's at 100% health. I would go for an in-cap off of this just to extend the CC chain. But that's Pain Suppression on the Rep Pally. Rapture as well from the Priest. Um, wings from the pally as well. So, you know, they, they're pressing cooldowns here. I would press maybe revival. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Uh, you also got the blinding light there, which is insane. Uh, I were feared full. We get trim. Yeah. So I would have, I mean, I would have given it a little bit because your, your Ellie shaman can tremor this fear. Um, you could, I would try to sit it. I mean, our, our, at least Shaman gets kicked, but I would be, you know, you don't got to trigger that fast on it, but like your Ellie Shaman would have been fine. But yeah, I guess we trigger the fear. Do we have no life cocoon still? We have no life cocoon. Uh, what do we use life cocoon on? Where's our life cocoon? I don't remember us using it. Oh, wait, we used it here. Oh, we used it here. Oh, we overlapped it with the wall. Let me see if we even needed to. Sweep, yeah. I I, I probably mm, try to utilize Thunder Focus T enveloping a little bit more because it's really really good. Um, what I would have done here, so the Rep Pally just trinketed and he's like he hasn't pressed wings yet. So that's one thing to know is the Rep Pally hasn't pressed wings. So I probably would have pressed Life Cocoon until I see wings. Um, what you want to do when you're in situations like this? It's such a gray area because it's a it's a very definitely a weird situation. I would probably Manatee Thunder Focus T into a an enveloping mist here. Um, if you could, I would probably how how low does he drop? Uh, we don't know. He walls too. Yeah, I would probably just because the Rep Pally was in CC and the Warrior feared. I would hold off on Life Cocoon and use your Thunder Focus T enveloping mist just because it's instant healing. It's a big heal. If you could get maybe even Yulon Thunder Focus T enveloping mist here. Yeah, that's what I would have done actually. I would have I would have Yulon and then on the GCD Manatee Thunder Focus T and then enveloping mist the the shaman just that way because you have Yulon going with mana reduction and Manatee with mana reduction and you have big healing from uh, Thunder Focus T enveloping and Yulon. That way you could hold your life cocoon because now wait where's wings? Now it's wings and we don't now we have walls going down and we have no life cocoon. We have revival which we do press which is good. But that now we're out of cooldowns. You know what I mean? Like now, now we're out. Instead of pressing life cocoon when we need it right here, because we, wings is still going. This this go is not over. It's still going. So uh, I would definitely wait. Uh, you're more. I think we're more afraid of the rep pally 
cooldowns than the Demon Hunter, even though they both do a lot of damage. You definitely at least want to save Life Cocoon for Pally Wings. But outside of that, not bad. One thing to note, though, is try to extend the CC chains on the healer with your in-cap and your leg sweep. Saw it in the first game, saw it in this last game. Um, whenever you see some kind of CC, like a stun, if you see a stun on the enemy healer, just go for an in-cap. You don't have to do anything crazy. You don't need to go for, you don't even need to go for a song if you don't want to. Like, especially if there's a range kick, you like, it's fine. Um, just, you know, try to extend with in-caps, leg sweep if they get, you know, get feared. You could leg sweep in-cap, stuff like that you should try to do. And then... I think those other two rounds were also not your fault just because, you know, your teammates got like one shot um, in the opener, which always sucks. All right, we got, what do we got? We got Ellie Shaman or maybe Enhancement Shaman. Who knows? Let me see. Ellie Shaman, Demon Hunter with... Oh my God, my dog. Frost Mage, Windwalker Monk, Holy Pally. Okay, so again, Holy Pally... You can out dampen for sure. Their mana is not very good. So you can actually, as long as your teammates stay alive, you can you can just outlast them. Frost Mage Windwalker is going to be interesting. It's going to be very fun for the Frost. When you play Frost Mage Ellie, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but I think your kill target, your kill target could be the Windwalker. Because if you kill the, if you're targeting the Windwalker, they have to play defensive, which means they have to port away and they have to run away, uh, which is really, really good. I mean, you could hit the Frost Mage, which is fine. But I would definitely go with the... I mean, Ellie Shaman is, is is definitely a good choice as well. Or Windwalker Monk. All right. Let's see what we got here. Port down. Statue up. Perfect. Ellie Shaman's getting ready to do some damage. Song of chi -Gi, I don't mind that at all. I love it. <laughs> uh, the Frost Mage is on the other side of Arena. I do like that, though. There's, there, you know, there's a chance, though. Zen Focus T here. That's fine. Try to get a Renewing Mist out as well. Life Cocoon on the Serenity is fair, but I mean, it would probably would have been better if you used it at the start, but now, like Serenity is, we press Life Cocoon and Serenity has three, two seconds left. So, and then we also walled. So a little bit of an overlap there. Probably didn't have to press Life Cocoon. Try to utilize Thunder Focus T and Valkyrie Mist just a little bit more, especially with Yulon. My, the first cooldown I use when I'm playing as a team, is always Yulon. She is very, very good, and it's a lot of healing. So try to use Yulon. When you see some damage coming in hot, use Yulon. Go for the instant Vivify. So you get like, um, oh, you're playing Manatee, never mind. Go for like uh, Thunder Focusing and Velpy Mist, and that way you can just heal without having to cast and then not have to use any other cooldowns. That's Trinket from the Windwalker, though, which is big. Um, I know we're trying to hit the Mage, but Windwalker is now definitely a kill target. Try to get CC on the... Uh, on the Holy Pally, too, is big. Nice. We get a full Hex. Oh, the Mage isn't dispelling it either. Trinket from the Pally. So that's really good. That is really, really, really good for us. Um, Pally has no Trinket. We can get in caps. We can get Leg Sweep soon. And this is what I was talking about. Just hit the Windwalker if you can't hit the Mage. The Windwalker is going to have to run away. Nice in cap on the Windwalker as well. That way they can't swap to you. You might potentially be careful. You're out of range of your port. Um... And, you, you know, they can they can swap too if they want to, especially with Hodges. Uh, good Yulon as well. Good job getting those big hots out. Renewing Mist on everything. We're kind of uh, all over the place right now. Uh, your Demon Hunter is hitting the Frost Mage. And your Ellie Shaman's hitting the Windwalker. So, <laughs> uh, this Repentance as well. Okay, so Repentance. We Trinket Repentance, Zen Focus T, big healing. You can get Hodge and Poly now, so be careful. So, this is like, this was, this is kind of a result of your DPS overextending, but then... Also, us like going too like we're too far in. Like we try to get, we get this leg sweep, and it does get a trinket, which is good. But then it gets our trinket, and I think our trinket is more important than a mage's trinket because they have ice block. So, just keep that in mind. You, do, try not to overextend. But I know that your demon hunter was was on a solo mission. That's bubble from the rep, from the holy pally. So, we, the holy pally has used all their cooldowns. They're not going for repentance on you, which is great. Normally, they try to do that when they're bubbled. Um, Serenity here. We want to get, press Life Cocoon. I think we have Life Cocoon lined up with Serenity, but maybe we could just heal through it. Good job with Thunder Focus T here. DB, a nice in cap as well. Yeah, no, we're doing a good job here. Good job locking down Serenity. So that's Serenity to go, which again is really, really good for us. I don't think there's going to be a second, a, a third Serenity. So just live. Just, there might actually be a third Serenity. No, I don't think so. Uh, Pally dies. There we go. 
I didn't even see the kill in the pally. It's really good. Yeah, see, like, Frost Mage, I think, is a bait. I would go Windwalker or Holy Pally. They both die, and they're both easier hit than a Frost Mage. So, I like to swap onto the uh, Holy Pally. All right, we got at least Shaman Frost Mage. So, this is going to be a good comp for us versus Demon Hunter, Windwalker, Holy Pally. Your job is to straight up just heal. You don't have to do nothing. If you look at the DRs, your Shaman has Hex and Poly and just Hex and Lasso, and your Frost Mage has poly so you're you kind of soak up the drs the one thing you can do versus this if you can but you don't have to overextend for it is you can go for like sweeps on the dps just because again we only have lasso that's the only stun that we have um demon hunters all the way in the starting room windwalker is pushing in windwalker is definitely the kill target this positioning is a little weird though because he could get a triple leg sweep nice drop here very well done Serenity as well. He rops the rop, but the wind, but the mage is on the other side. Ellie Shaman is a little bit back there, but that's okay. Again, they have no ranged interrupts. As far as PV talents go versus this, I'd probably play like Eminence, Chrysalis, and like Peace Weaver, just because um, the Demon Hunter has the hunt, and you can immune it with it. Uh, but we're doing a good job of keeping our new mist up. Great job. Hey, easy, easy, and. Yeah, no, we're doing good. That's repentance on the Ellie Shaman too. So I would probably dispel this as soon as you can as well. Try to dispel that. Uh, that way, you you know, you just have more pressure and more damage. You don't want your teammates to have downtime versus this. Nice juke on the Windwalker there too. Nice sweep. Really, that's exactly what I was talking about. You get sweeps on the DPS when you can. Beautiful. You get the trinket from the Windwalker. We get the sack. We get nice hex. It's during sack, but that's fine. And we can get maybe, no, we don't have sweep, we don't have ink cap, so we can't get any follow-up off that hex, which is fine. But we get the Holy Pally trinket, we have the Windwalker trinket, we just got the Demon Hunter trinket. So, at this point, you guys are in a beautiful spot. Life Cocoon there. I don't see any cooldowns. I guess it is meta, so that's fair, but the Ellie Shaman is a little scary. Um, he's going for Repentance here, so be, be, yep, there's a Repentance. Uh, I think they break it, or we trinket that? Do we trink it or break it? No, they break it, which is even better. Um, and then we want to focus on healing. Yeah, really good. Really, really, really good. Nice. Nice. That's karma. Might want to dispel the dot because it does do uh, just a little bit of damage. Um, or it could do quite a bit of damage. We do ice block there too, which is fine. Instantly swap back to your Ellie Shaman. Beautiful. Watch out for the pally getting repentance. We don't know. Yep, that's repentance. That's a full repentance. So just be careful. It, Holy pally, they're, one, they're like one win condition. Is to get repentance. It's like they're one. That's glacial spike coming in hot from your mage. Be careful. Nice job. Nice job. Well done. The uh, be uh, awareness wise, just be careful. Just I would say just know like the win condition of the other team, and the win condition for this team is to get a repentance on you and try to just kill something in the serenity or like with the hunt. So always be weary of holy pallies playing repentance. Don't normally play it. It's really annoying to play against, but. You counter it by just positioning correctly. Great kill on the on the Windwalker. Great sweep on the Windwalker too. Again, really good. The leg sweeps are really good, and especially if you can't hit the healer and they're playing far away. They're really good for peeling your DPS. So that is very good. Healing wise, I think, I think we did fine too. I don't think there was anything wrong with uh, our healing. Um, playing disarm. What are we playing? Disarm revival port. Yeah, this is fine. Um, I would still probably play Peace Weaver though, or not Peace Weaver, Restoral, just because there really isn't anything we're looking to dispel, and we uh, it, we're able to immune the hunt if we're stunned or Repentance. If you get Hodge and Repentance, you could use Restoral and make your team your, yourself immune to it, and um, it puts on cooldown, which is really good too. Song of Chiji, love it, love it. Maybe get the Mage out. I'd love it if you did. Nice drop there. Yeah, just focus on healing right now. Double rob. <laughs> yeah, double rob is nice. Yeah, just focus on healing right now. The mage still has CS, just so be careful. But what you want to do positioning-wise is just play far away. Heal your Windwalker. Heal your Ellie Shaman. Stay close but not stacked. Nice sweep. Again, another great sweep here. Good job getting some damage out on the Demon Hunter as well. Don't be careful. I mean, it's, it's good, but be careful of pushing out here. Um, don't stay stacked on your early shaman, but be close. That way they could sheer repentance if they go you. Life cocoon here is fine. Uh, there's just no cooldowns going out. Uh, that's trinket from the demon hunter, which is good. But 
Yeah, I mean, we're doing a pretty good job. Yeah, we're doing a good job here. Good healing. Good job getting your envelope missed out. Windwalker didn't have to use any cooldowns there, so good life, Cocoon. We still have Karma, uh, Fort Brew, Damp, and Diffuse, and we still have uh, Shaman cooldown, so doing a great job. Blur from the Demon Hunter. They're cutting away. Use your Rop if you can to make it so we can't go around the pillar. Nice sweep from the Windwalker here on the two in the back, and I think we're just hitting Demon Hunter right now. Rop it if you can. Okay, that's fine. Whenever a team tries to run, try to... Oh, we don't have Rop. Anyway, we 20 seconds, but try to save it for if they try to run. But Mage still has CS, but isn't using it, which is good for us. Uh, big healing here with Zen Focus T. Beautiful. Mage is going for Polymorph. Nope, Glacial Spike. Nice in cap on that Glacial Spike. So good. Going for Poly. No Polys coming out. So we're doing a good job. Nice sweep too. And we are kind of crushing this team. I would say we're kind of crushing this team. Like, Rop's okay. I would wait. I would wait. Hold your Rop until you see them like running away. Like when you have damage or if your Windwalker has Serenity, I, I would wait until you see that happening but there's glacial spike again he's trying to cast it uh alter time from the mage so i'll just swap to demon hunter uh during alter time looks like that's what we're trying to do Windwalker's in there though Windwalker is kind of in there zen focus t as well demon hunter misses i think i think that was his fear and i think he missed it it's a little weird cap totem on the demon hunter is fine disarm as well on the demon hunter it just we, I think we need to be hitting the same target. I mean, I think we're doing pressure. The, the, the thing is, is Pally's almost doomed, which is good. I guess we're kind of almost doomed. <clears throat> but healing-wise, we're doing fine. We don't have any cooldowns for this. We need to live. We have Life Cocoon in 2-1. Nice, nice. Good. Your Windwalker is still in there, man. The Windwalker... I, the Windwalker's just got to come over here to kill the Demon Hunter. But I guess the Demon, Hunter's, Demon Hunter has Trinket now. So the Demon Hunter's going to Trinket in the next sweep probably on him. Full poly here, we Trinket. Um, yeah, so f as far as position goes, like, we don't need to be here. Wherever this, that we don't need to be here. You should be just back on the pillar. Make it very, make it very almost impossible for the other team to get CC on you. So keep that in mind. I mean... We could we maybe we could have ported this maybe not uh, we could have we're on the GC though no we couldn't have um, but as far as position goes we could have completely avoided this poly if we just like kind of stay on the pillar just stay on the pillar or like stay back here in LOS but definitely want to just stay on the pillar so now we have to trink it hopefully the pally doesn't get repentance nice good good we're kind of out of mana though so we have thunder focus T we can double vivify as well if we need to that's ice block as well from the from the mage. Nice kick. Nice hex on the pally as well. No trinkets. Do we have anything for the demon hunter? Nice sweep. Oh, the windwalker's hit. What's the windwalker hitting? The windwalker's over here. Hitting the mage in the ice block in the, in the pally in the bubble. All right. The windwalker finally realized it and comes over to kill the demon hunter. Oh, my lord. We have revival. We have revival. Oh, nice. Didn't heal for nothing. We're in late damage. We're in deep. 71% dampening right now. Oh, my lord. I'm so sad for you. We have Yulon. That's Alter Time. Kill, kill the mage. Oh, kill the mage. So close. We don't have Rop. Oh, my lord. That was a very close game. Your Windwalker needs to get on the same page as the rest of the team, though. Oh, my lord. I think he was over there hitting the ice block in a, in a bubble. <laughs> um, great game, though. Positioning-wise, stay on the pillar. Just stay on the pillar. Especially versus mages. Especially versus Pallies of Play Repentance. Um, I would definitely drop Restoral or Revival for Restoral and just focus on healing. Alrighty, next up, what do we, yo, what do we got next? We got Ellie, Fro oh, Ellie Frost Mage. Is, is, this one's going to be tough. I think your kill target is going to be the Ellie Shaman. Or it could be the Holy Pally too. Um, one of those can die. Frost Mage is going to be difficult just because they have the two Ice Blocks. They got a lot of Roots. They got a lot of Slows. They got, they got damage. So um, I would say our kill target is probably going to be the Ellie Shaman. Um, we'll see what we hit. Right now, we're just staying behind the pillar, which is fine. So, ring of fire on you. That's fine. In cap on the mage. Good. Uh, good. It seems like we're hitting either the Ellie Shaman or the Holy Pally Rop back there. Rop's okay. I would definitely save your Rop for when teams are starting to run away. Like, when they start to try to pillar. Life Cocoon on the Windwalker. Polymorph on you. This is good. They're going to swap to a Demon Hunter, but that's still a solid Life Cocoon there. Um, 
Revival. It looks like we want to press Revival. Demon Hunter isn't pressing a single cooldown. We're so used to unfocus. See, you definitely want to space out these cooldowns, by the way, just a little bit. Revival is a very major cooldown. So what may if you press revival maybe follow that up with a manatee like on the gcd press manatee thunder focus t and then go for an enveloping mist heal then go for renewing mist with like instant vivify just because having to stack your revival and zen focus t is really bad because now you don't you don't have any cooldowns for 30 seconds so either use revival or use Zen Focus T. I would opt for zen focus t but i think he's like really low here right like he drops like kind of low after polymorph let me see He's also really in. He's he's in for sure. Yeah. I guess revival's fine, but yeah, now he's done focus T and and plus he also LOS you and I get a hex on you. So it seems like we're going holy pally, which you're gonna be in a lot of CC if they're going holy pally, but maybe it gives your team the best way the best chance of winning. Um repentance is super DR. That's fine. That's fine. You know. That just extends the DR on you. Try to get the dispel on the ring of frost, which is good. Uh, Pally is horsing up to Hodge you. He can't repent this because you just got repented. So I think we're doing fine right now. Um, Ring of Frost as well on your Windwalker. Fear on the Ellie Shaman. Oh, right. kick this maybe. Nice, good, good kick on the Polymorph there. It it looks like we're going back Mage now. We're going back Mage. All right, <laughs> all right. That's Bop on the on the Mage. So now we have to swap over to either Ellie or Holy Pally. Good job, Line here. Don't go too far. Again, you're playing with double double melee. And they're kind of pushing behind the pillar. So you, unfortunately, you have to stay close. Um, there's a leg sweep on the pally and he trinkets it or humans it. So that's good for us. And we're just healing right now. We're just healing. That's good. It's very, very good. Um, hex on your Windwalker. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. Your Windwalker trinkets it. Um, go Maybe, yeah, good. I was about to say, go for in cap. Go for anything on the off DPS or off targets here as well. You're going to get polyed though. Yeah, we trinket the poly instantly. Okay, we get knocked as well. Uh, could Tigers lost ourselves here for slowed? We're doing mist, develop mist, good. Zen focus T here, big healing, good, good. Um, we would use mana T. We have a big life cocoon when we need it. Um, I think coming up. Don't have focus T. Go for a develop mist, beautiful. Good job kiting. Yeah, you unfortunately it's a big map and your your GPS need to push in. So that's what that's what kind of sucks about it. Uh, but here comes a hex. Nice revival on the hex. Now we're hitting the mage. All right. Now we're hitting the mage. Nice drop here. You see this beautiful drop here. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You want to save your drop for when they want to LOS. That way, when they're trying to run away, they're, they have to. Maybe they run out of mobility, you know. And now maybe the mage. See, the mage can't blink a second time and get around the ring in peace. So this is really good for you. Really good drop there. Uh, last on you, I think, is fine. You're not taking much damage here. Uh, that's bubble from the pally as well. No bop as well either from the pally. Trinket from the Ellie Shaman. Try to dispel that Hodge when you can. I know that the I know it's awkward positioning right now. We went to the wrong side of the pillar. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is very unfortunate. Your porch right here too. Your demon hunter. I know it's awkward, but your demon hunter's right there. Oh. Oh, we have life cocoon too. Oh, this is brutal. Man, this game was actually going decent. Actually, I don't know how this this repentance doesn't break sooner, but this game was going really well for you. And the pallet was just about to oom. Um, and I don't know how this doesn't break sooner oh no no it does break you just, he just dies yeah we just went to the wrong side of the pillar it's it's very awkward on this map or like most big maps when, when you have to play dull melee versus double caster but yeah we just went to the wrong side of the pillar and your port's even over here too like we could have ported life cocoon damn very close very very close nice try wait is this your demon under here too your demon your melee are all over the place they're hitting targets they're swapping targets a lot I think it was probably Holy Pally because after the, especially after the Holy Pally bubbled. So now we're playing Frost Mage Windwalker. This is actually a really good comp. This is, this is a really good comp. You can probably just kill the Demon Hunter without having to leave the pillar. Just as long as your your Windwalker stays close to you, you should be fine. Um, we're playing Dome of Mist, Zen Focus T, Peace Weaver. Uh, Disarm is good for the Demon Hunter, Zen Focus T. Yeah, I mean, Zen Focus T is good. Um, you could probably drop it though. We're not playing Chrysalis. I would. I would definitely try to play Chrysalis a bit more if I was you. Because um, Chrysalis is really good. Especially when you're playing with the Common Coalescence Big Cocoon. So you just get a giant cocoon every like minute, what, 15? Like it's it's really, really good. Um, Rop here on the Demon Hunter. And then we just, what, we're just casting here? Good, good. Trigger from your Windwalker probably isn't ideal. Especially unless he's using Serenity right now. Uh, this is Icy Veins from your Mage. Be healing, good. 
TB, watch out for your wind walk. Your wind walker loves to just, oh, Hodge, nice. We trinket. We're going to get rep though. Yeah. Okay. This is, this is scary. We're probably going to have to karma here at least from the wind walker. That's okay. Good. That's revival as well from us. Like, and life cocoon. So we just, we, okay. We overlap. That, that was a huge overlap. So we used revival, life cocoon, karma, four brew, and diffuse magic all in one go. That is, that's not good. That is, a, that is a massive overlap. So I would just keep, I know, don't freak out when someone gets low. Don't, just don't freak out. We have karma, we have Fort Brew, and we have diffuse magic going. So don't freak out here. We don't need to press Life Cocoon. I don't even think we need to press Revival here either. I would just go for a Yulon, Thunder Focus T enveloping. Like, and you're fine. I promise you, you're fine. The, the amount of healing that you can do is absurd. So keep that in mind. And now we have to Ice Block because we just used our, our, our Ivory cooldown that we have on, on the Wind Walker. Um, and then we get Hexed. And then I don't think our Mage knows that he could Dispel Hex. Um, so Cold Snap from your Wind Walker or from your uh, Frost Mage. Okay. Be healing. Nice. Just watch for repents. Our positioning don't got to be here. D don't Try not to be in the middle of the map. Just try to be... Because this guy's going to go for repentance on you right here out of left field. Right here. It's, he's going to go for it. And we're on our Zen Focus T on the rest of our Zen Focus T. Um, oh, they break it. Thank you. That's good. That's good. Nice. 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 Good. Good stun there. Second ice block there, though. Big healing. Yeah. Big healing. Nice. Try to get some good. We're doing you missed out. Beautiful. Windwalker has nothing either. Cap Totem. He's just in. So this, 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 it was just a massive overlap. We're definitely underutilizing Elon with Thunder Focus, the enveloping mist. I don't know which patch this uh, was on. Maybe it was 10.0.5, but right now in 10.0.7 with the Thunder Focus, the enveloping mist, you could just do so much healing with Elon. Um, so keep that in mind. It's, and your Windwalker is just in, in no man's land. Actually, we still had Dampen Harm too. But again, it was just a huge overlap that we did. Um, try to utilize Elon. A little bit more with the instant healing from enveloping mist and don't freak out when people get low on health either like if the windwalker pressed karma damp uh diffuse you know fort brew they should live like they really should live so keep that in mind also i would definitely play chrysalis too i think Chry chrysalis is like yes good good nice good 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 all right we have statue down port up all right beautiful doing a good job here and now we need a good good job kiting. A kill target's probably the windwalker, honestly. Just like stay on the pillar, kill the windwalker. Your demon hunter might I mean, maybe even Ellie Shaman, but I swear defensively the windwalker, as soon as they use their defensives and they start to like run away. Nice sweep here. Really good sweep here. Um they just lose all their pressure. Root on you. Pally's pushing in for a stun. So right here, by the way, right here, by the way, is a perfect example why I would also recommend playing Restoral. You get stunned and you're going to get repentanced. I would see that you're pressing Revival. I don't know what's going to happen first. I think you get the Revival off. I don't know how. Did You had the buff, though, no? Did we not repress Revival? Oh, I thought we pressed Revival. So this is a good example of Restoral. Because you can press Restoral while stunned. And then you can immune the Repentance. And then you don't get Repentance here. And you don't have to Trinket. So. I think Restoral instead of Revival. I would only press or use Revival versus like Affliction Warlocks. Damn. That guy just died so fast. Oh wait. Did he get kicked on Frost? I don't even know what he got kicked on. I don't see any cast going off. I, I actually don't know what he was casting. Wow. Okay. Revival 2. And he's just dead. Wow. Wow. That's very unfortunate. Yeah. Those last two games were a bit unfortunate. So, yeah. There are some, definitely some things we can improve. Um, first thing is I would definitely play Chrysalis instead of... I would definitely have Chrysalis just be a mandatory talent, PvP talent that you take. And then do the other two depending on what you're queuing into. Um, you know, disarm to warriors, uh, eminence, if you think you're going to get swapped to. And then the other thing I would change. So the other thing is I would change is I would change these talents right here. Drop, where's your talents? I saw in the beginning. Drop Yulon's Whisper and take Tear of Mourning. You're going to see a, you're going to see a pretty, I would say significant healing increase. Um, when you make that change, you're, you're going to see so much healing. Like it, it's going to be crazy. I would also, I would drop burst of life and go with comic coalescence just because it's just, I think it's better. 
I, I really just think bigger life cocoon is just better. Um, and then revival. So revival is really good when with peace weaver when against like affliction warlocks. And like, that's really the only thing I could think of outside of that. I would just drop it and play restore with peace weaver. It works. It's it reds out. Just, it's just a bug. It's a tooltip bug, but it still works. So I would just play restoral unless you're seeing affliction warlock on the other team, then I would play revival. Um, and then as far as position goes, try to stay. I know some in some of these games, your DPS kind of forced you to go out into like like this game with two melee versus double caster. Where is it? This one right here kind of forced you out from the pillar. But with anything else with like a cast or anything, just stay on the pillar and stay away from the middle of the map. You just pretend you're like allergic to the middle of the map and and don't don't go near it. Just don't go anywhere near it because it is awful um stay close to the pillar that way you can line make it very difficult for dps to cc you um try to utilize you a little bit more i know this this might have been in the 10.0.5 patch right here yeah it was um but what you want to do is now that we're in 10.0.7 the best thing that i've been able to figure out uh as far as like healing and especially it's my first it's my first cooldown i use every game is Yulon. Yulon is the first cool that I use, and I'll follow it up with a Thunder Focus Team Velvet Mist on whoever they're trying to target, and it just heals. It just keeps people alive. It just keeps people alive. So keep that in mind as well. Very, very good cooldown, um, and try to use that. We use Manatee. You could use Life Cycles. Life Cycles is good too with the Instant Vel uh, instant uh, Vivify. Um, don't freak out when people get low either. Like I, I we, That was a, that one go where we overlapped everything. Uh, yeah, don't freak out. You know We have Karma. Uh, you know just every once in a while just glance over here what cooldowns are available and what like isn't like we still have four brew and diffuse magic here so obviously we're, like we should be good um especially if you're using like i said focus tier or something you should be able to just get the guaranteed healing um but yeah that's pretty much all i got really um <clears throat> biggest thing was positioning obviously and then um rotating cooldowns or overlapping cooldowns it, it's a pain in the butt in solo shuffle but uh, it's really, it's, yeah, it's like one of the main things. If you don't overlap, it's really, really good. And I think that's all I can think of. Try to change those talents around as well. You'll see, a, you'll see a big amount of healing swap into tier of morning. Like you, yeah, yeah. You'll see a lot of healing, I promise. Um, and especially with restoral too. And then oh, also try to extend CC chains. Try to like right now, like CC chains are lasting a few seconds, but you keep, like, try to extend them as much as you can um, with an in cap and a leg sweep. You know, if you see a healer get feared, go try to get in cap off it. You see them get stunned, try to get in cap off. If they get like intimidating, shouted, try to maybe get a leg sweep in cap off that. You know, don't you know, don't jeopardize your positioning because you want to stay close to the pillar. But if you can go in for a leg sweep or an in cap and then like roll or port away, do it. I would definitely do it. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Hopefully, this was helpful for you or anyone running to his issues. I don't see a reason why you couldn't push 2.4. I think your healing is, is pretty solid. Just try to utilize Yulon. Don't focus the envelop mist. And I'm sure you're going to be fine. So that is pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.